Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with your global weather extremes for Friday. And we are tracking four tropical storms around America. So that's sort of the main highlight of today's video, but we're also tracking a few of the temperature extremes. We're seeing some parts of the world getting up to around 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, satellite maps, we've been asked by some of our viewers, could we show this? It's not animated, but it does give you an understanding where the big sort of thundery downpours are all lined up. And in the Southern Ocean, look at this, one low after the other with a cold front attached to it. So kind of a classic look as it moves through in the Southern Ocean. In the Northern Hemisphere, we're seeing uh, tropical disturbances and tropical lows forming all around the Atlantic area. There are about three of them at the moment. And then there's another one out here in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, uh, which is also one to keep an eye on. We've got a map for that just in a moment. And we've also got a low pressure system up here between Greenland and Iceland. In fact, there are two or three in this zone up to the North, but that's the main one right there. So let's take a closer look now at those tropical disturbances, the tropical storms that are forming around America. So we've got this big one here out along the uh, eastern Pacific. We've got another tropical disturbance here. And then further out, there is this main one forming between basically the Sahara and the top of um, uh, South America. And this is a, a classic zone where they form. You get that hot pulse of air coming out of the desert and it starts to mix with the uh, moisture out at sea and you start to get these incredible storms that start to form. So where are they likely to go? Well, the spaghetti, spaghetti modeling that we use from IBM shows that these two are mostly out at sea, but these other two are well worth keeping an eye on because they might end up coming into you know, parts of Louisiana there by the looks of that map straight into New Orleans. That's not something people would like to see on any sort of weather map. Very early to lock in. It could easily move around quite a lot, so don't get too concerned just yet. And of course, in America, the National Hurricane Center, your official warning service for hurricanes. This one in the Eastern Pacific is also worth keeping an eye on for parts of Mexico. It might come in and make landfall for you. Uh, right, talking about deep lows around the earth, you know, the tropical storms are very tightly packed uh, together. So when you look at the isobars, you know, that show the wind, you can see them very closely drawn together. They're completely the opposite in the Southern Ocean. Extra tropical storms have a big center and they spread out. So the largest low pressure system on the planet at the moment is this one just south of Africa and Madagascar. It's got very low air pressure in the 930 hectopascal or millibar range. And so that is the main low. But by the way, the biggest high on the planet right next door to it, around about 1036, 37 hectopascals at the moment. So some big stormy systems in the Southern Ocean. You can see them here, in fact. There's that, oh sorry, the low pressure is just actually off the screen a little bit there. But the big high zone, that's in here and another one out to the side. This is the reason why we're seeing big parts of Argentina in drought. They're getting these huge high pressure systems straight off the sea, straight off the Pacific Ocean and over land. But these big storms are all down here in the Southern Ocean at the moment. Let's take a look now at the heaviest rainfall for today, Friday, around planet Earth. And the heaviest rain we're seeing today is up here on the border of Nepal and India in the Him Himalayas. There's over 100 millimeters forecast in some areas there. Big downpours all along the mountain ranges. And we've also got some big downpours in southern parts of India and around Sri Lanka as those afternoon downpours start to build up. And a few usual sort of thunderstorms and downpours across China. As we take a look at North America, you can certainly see those downpours, the thunderstorms bubbling up in the south. Uh, some heavier rain, though, up here around parts of Wisconsin and Iowa and uh, also some parts of Minnesota. And in Canada, it's parts of Quebec and moving into Newfoundland and Labrador that are seeing the heaviest rain around parts of North America. And the other map for Europe shows an interesting setup. If you look at it very, very closely, you can see that it is spinning as a low pressure system. The way that the rain clouds are sort of moving along like this and up and around, uh, we've got a low pressure zone in this area, which is not, a, not overly aggressive, but it's got that anticyclonic airflow as it does in the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, lows in the Southern Hemisphere hemisphere, excuse me, spin clockwise. So we're seeing the anti-clockwise spin. And when you take a look at the air pressure map, you can see in here, there's the low pressure system, basically smack bang over the top of Berlin, Germany, but affecting a number of nations as that slow moving air pressure goes around and around. 
And here's the other big system, the one that we mentioned before between Iceland and Greenland. Let's take a look at the world's extreme temperatures at the moment. A couple of the hottest places on the planet. Uh, in the border between America and Mexico, some very high temperatures in here, getting up into the 40s uh, Celsius, 40 degree mark Celsius, uh, and that is in Fahrenheit, getting up into the 100 degree mark, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But the hottest place on Earth for Friday is around Iraq and Kuwait. It often is. It's one of the hottest places in the, in the world. Uh, temperatures in this zone here getting up to 48 degrees, maybe 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Very hot weather spreads all the way down around uh, into Dubai as well. So hot weather. The cold weather at the other side of the scale, the lowest daytime temperatures on Friday, big portion of Alaska and some parts of Russia as well. Anchorage fairly cool with uh, mid-teen temperatures um, in Celsius anyway. And the other part of the world that is cooler at the moment is New Zealand's South Island with daytime temperatures uh, for Friday in the single digits Celsius. Okay, and to finish today's weather video, we are going to take another look at what I like to call the most beautiful weather system on Earth. And this is what I think is the most beautiful weather system on Earth today. It's the low that is between the southern tip of Greenland and just off the coast of Iceland. It is producing some windy weather along this western coastline. They have had gale force winds. Now it's uh, eased a little bit. The gales are right around here with wind gusts of around about 70 or 80 kilometers an hour, about 40, 45 miles per hour. And that is all from me. Thank you so much for all your comments on YouTube from around the world. I really do appreciate them. We also appreciate any sort of advice or tips you've got for us, any features you'd like us to focus on. We will do our best. We can't reply to all of you and we can't do everything you ask for. One, one obvious one, someone asked us for the rain radar. Um, we've only got radar imagery from the governments that allow us to have it. And that's Europe, North America, um, that's about it. Japan, I think, in there, and Australia. There we go. So that's a big portion of the world that doesn't have rain radar imagery. So we tend to not usually show it unless it's you know a big hurricane making landfall in America or a tropical cyclone hitting Australia. Then it gets a bit more interesting. We are also working on improving our graphics. It may take a few more months, um, but we are in the, uh, in the process of doing that as well. Thank you so much for all the comments. Have a great, safe weekend, and we'll see you again next week.